viewers welcome to shinos updates today we are going to learn about stress strain diagram welcome to shinos updates thanks for the friends who subscribe my channel friends who didn't subscribe till now kindly subscribe for further updates click the bell button like comment and share do support my channel before learning about stress strain diagram you should have some idea of about what is mean by stress what is mean by strain and also about hooks law so let's learn something about this first so what is mean by stress it is an internal force associated with a strain okay which means what consider this is a material okay if you apply a force here in this area the stress is created isn't it so this is called as stress so here a formula has also been given so f is f by a is the formula f means what force a means area so here stress is denoted as sigma its unit is newton per meter square or you can say as pascal 1 pascal is equal to newton per meter square now we can see about strain strain means what change in length divided by original length okay strain means relative shape in the size or shape of the body due to externally applied forces which is called as strain so here the formula is delta l divided by l which is which means extension divided by original length so here there is no unit because strain has no dimension it is dimensionless okay so third one is hooke's law hooke's law means what stress is directly proportional to strain which is called as hooke's law so only i have mentioned as sigma is directly proportional to small e small e means strain okay so when we solve the equation we will get a new constant which is called as young's modulus and is denoted by the letter e this young's modulus is otherwise called as modulus of elasticity okay so we get when we solve this e is equal to sigma by e that is stress by strain so okay so the unit of young's modulus is newton per meter square or pascal because strain has no dimension so we get the same unit as in stress okay now let's see about stress strain diagram in the stress strain diagram in the x axis strain will be given in the y axis stress is given okay and this is the origin point here this o to a point is the linear line okay here there will be no curve line as in the other points okay this o a this o a point only obeys the hooke's law because here only stress is directly proportional to strain okay which means what uh, if you increase the stress the strain will also increase in this o a point so only this line is linear okay so when you remove the stress which means when the stress is zero the material regain to its original shape which is called as proportional limit so this a point is called as proportional limit okay i hope you could understand this well next ab point this ab point you know this point doesn't obey hooke's law but when you remove the stress when the stress is removed the material regains back to its original shape okay why in this ab point the material regains back to its original shape because this o to o dash point is the elastic region so when you remove the stress means also it will regain back to its original shape okay now in c point the c point is the yield point in this point when you remove the stress the material does not regain back to its original shape okay there will be a permanent deformation will be there that is called yield point okay and this ed point is a very important stress that is called as ultimate stress ultimate stress is the maximum stress a body can bear before fracture point okay so what happens here means before failure a maximum elongation will be there in this ultimate stress okay so fracture point fracture point means what if you give little or mild stress means also the material leads to fracture or broken or failure okay so this point b c d and e totally is a plastic region here the material doesn't regain to its original shape 
So this is the basics of stress strain diagram. I hope so this video helps you a lot. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell button for future updates. Thank you so much.